welcome to part two of our video series about drones. This episode will explore proper drone etiquette and safety. First, we should talk about the prerequisites to flying a drone. Under US law, a drone is considered an unmanned aircraft system. Every one of these vehicles must be registered with the Federal Aviation Administration or the FAA. When registering your drone, you have the option to register either under Part 107 or the exception for recreational flyers. These options are primarily concerned with drones that weigh under 55 pounds. If you are not sure what kind of drone flyer you are, check out their user identification tool for more information. Typically, a smaller drone that will be flown recreationally will qualify under the exception for recreational flyers and a smaller drone that will be flown for business reasons will qualify under Part 107. These options may seem trivial, but it's important to understand them to avoid any potential legal trouble. So, what are the Part 107 rules? Well, as mentioned before, if you have a small drone that is less than 55 pounds, you can fly for work or business by following the Part 107 guidelines. Now we won't go into all the specifications and limitations of these rules, so please make sure to go online and do your own research before flying, especially if you have questions or concerns. Just as there are rules of the road when driving a car, there are rules of the sky when operating a drone. According to the operating requirement of Part 107, you must always avoid manned aircrafts, Never operate in a careless or reckless manner. Keep your drone within eyesight. You cannot be a pilot or visual observer for more than one drone operation at a time. Do not fly over people unless they are directly participating in the operation. Do not operate your drone from a moving vehicle or aircraft unless you are flying your drone over a sparsely populated area and it does not involve the transportation of property for compensation or hire. Operation times for drones are within the daylight hours, which means 30 minutes before the official sunrise or 30 minutes after the official sunset of a local time. The maximum allowable altitude that your drone can reach is 400 feet above the ground, higher if your drone remains within 400 feet of a structure. Your drone should not reach a maximum speed greater than 100 mph or 87 knots. To circumvent some of these restrictions, you can request a waiver if you can show your operation will provide an adequate level of safety. Some of the most requested waivers are for operations that require flying beyond visual lines of sight during nighttime and over people. So you may be asking, how do I get my certification? Well, to operate the controls of a drone per the part 107 rules, you need a remote pilot certification with a small UAS rating or be under the direct supervision of a person who holds such a certificate. To qualify for a remote pilot certificate, you must at least be 16 years old. You can obtain it in one of two ways. Either pass an initial aeronautical knowledge test at an FAA approved knowledge testing center or if you already have a Part 61 pilot certificate, you must have completed a flight review in the previous 24 months and you must take a small UAS online training course provided by the FAA. If you have a Part 61 certificate, you will immediately receive a temporary remote pilot certificate when you apply for a permanent certificate. Other applicants will receive a temporary remote pilot certificate upon successful completion of TSA security vetting. And now for a quick overview of some of the safety precautions that should always be taking place when operating a drone. Keep your drone within your visual line of sight or within the visual line of sight of a visual observer. Do not fly at night unless your drone has lighting that allows you to know its location and orientation at all times. Do not fly in adverse weather conditions such as high winds or reduced visibility. Give way to and do not interfere with manned aircrafts. Never fly over any person or moving vehicle. Never interfere with emergency response activities such as disaster relief. Never fly under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Do not fly near or over sensitive infrastructure or property such as power stations, water treatment facilities, or flying over private property. Do not conduct surveillance or photograph people in areas where there is an expectation of privacy. 
Drones should never be equipped with weapons. Do not operate your drone in a careless or reckless manner. And recreational flyers should know that if they intentionally violate any of these safety requirements and or operate in a careless or reckless manner, they could be liable for criminal and or civil penalties. We hope everyone takes these rules and regulations for public safety into account next time you plan on operating a drone and hope everyone takes advantage of a cool piece of technology that enables limitless camera angles and tasks in today's technology-driven society.